The United States begs for China's moon samples. China's moon samples have returned to the to Earth. NASA is upset about being excluded from China's Chang'e 6 moon mission, which is sharing lunar samples with other countries like Italy, France, and Pakistan. The issue stems from the U.S. Wolf Amendment, which restricts NASA from collaborating with China on space projects. So there you go. The law does not allow them to uh, collaborate with China. So why should China give samples? Now, to receive the samples, the U.S. needs to lift these restrictions. But China is in no hurry to accommodate, adding to the tension. NASA's promise to return to the moon by 2026, ahead of China's 2030 goal, makes cooperation even more challenging. The unfolding space race drama raises questions about international collaboration and competition in lunar exploration. As reported by CNN, the Chinese government has now has something no other human has ever seen, rocks and soil from the far side of the moon. The successful return of the Chinese 6 lunar mission with historic cargo on June 25th was a scientific coup that cemented China's status as one of the world's leading space powers, second only to the United States. And we know that whoever dominates space dominates Earth, obviously. Now, amid increasing competition in the worldwide race to create a permanent human presence on the moon, China's space agency is once again following NASA's lead established decades ago after the Apollo missions by sharing lunar samples with scientists across the world. China welcomes scientists from all countries to apply to study the samples and share in the benefits, said Yu Yuanfeng, director of the China National Space Administration, CNASA, International Cooperation Office, at a press briefing in Beijing on Thursday. NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, told CNN that he is pleased to hear CNSA intends to share the materials gathered by Chang'e 6 lunar probe last month. The samples obtained with a drill and a mechanical arm contained up to 4.4 pounds, that's 2 kilograms, of lunar dust and rocks from the older old crater, from an old crater on the moon's far side that is never visible from our Earth. Make it available to the international community just as we will when we start bringing additional samples back, as we did half a century ago with the samples brought back from the, Apollo, the six Apollo moon landings, Nelson said. It's a rare moment of agreed agreement between the two space organizations racing to land astronauts on the moon and establish a station near the lunar south pole. However, U.S. access to the samples may be hampered by the Wolf Amendment, a 2011 law that prohibits NASA from using government funds for bilateral cooperation with China or its agencies without prior authorization from Congress or the Federal Bureau of Investigation effectively prohibiting the space agency from routinely working with its Chinese counterparts. The root cause of the obstacle to China-U.S. space cooperation lies in U.S. domestic laws, such as the Wolf Amendment, which hinder cooperation between the two countries in space exploration, said Brian Z. Gang, vice chair of China's National Space Administration, during the Thursday news conference. If the U.S. truly wishes to engage in normal space exchanges with China, I think they should take concrete, measure, concrete measures to remove these obstacles, he said. U.S. access to Chang'e 6 samples? During the Cold War, NASA shared samples collected by Apollo astronauts from the moon's near side with its adversary in the, face of the, in the first space race, the former Soviet Union, as well as dozens of other countries, including China, according to a NASA spokesperson. However, samples from the moon's far side have taken decades longer to obtain. China is the only country to have made a soft landing of a robotic spacecraft on the far side of the moon, which it did in 2019 with the Chang'e 4 mission. A year later, with the successful completion of the Chang'e 5 mission, China became only the third nation in history to successfully return samples from the moon's uh, side facing Earth. China gave samples to international scientists for the first time last August, and Nelson had, has permitted NASA-funded researchers to seek access. 
We're going through the process right now with our scientists and our lawyers to make sure that the instructions and guard, guard rails that the Chinese are insisting on are not a violation of the law of the Wolf Agreement, the Wolf Amendment, Nelson told CNN. As of this moment, I don't see a violation, he said. Any similar application to investigate the Chinese six samples must go through the same vetting process, Nelson said. The Pentagon space program will continue to determine whether NASA-funded scientists and organizations can access the samples by congressional restrictions on NASA interactions with China, a space agency. The race to the moon. According to Nelson, China now intends to place astronauts on the moon before the year 2030, whereas the United States plan to do so later in 2026. Despite China's recent success with robotic lunar missions, Nelson remains sure that the United States, through NASA's Artemis program, will beat Beijing in the second space race to place people on the moon. Space flight is hard, but human space flight is especially hard, Nelson said, and magnitudes more difficult than a robotic landing. NASA currently has an advantage in testing spacecraft capable of transporting humans to the moon. The uncrewed Artemis 1 mission successfully sent the Orion spacecraft around the moon in 2022, setting the way for the Artemis 2 mission, which will transport four humans on the same course as early as September 2025. China has yet to send a human-rated rated spaceship around the moon. NASA has teamed with SpaceX to create the lunar lander that will transport people from the Orion spacecraft to the moon surface during the Artemis 3 mission. That spacecraft, known as Starship, completed its fourth test flight in June, but it is still several test flights and technology demos away from being capable of carrying humans. China has an advantage in the robotic exploration of the moon, Although the U.S. government has not landed a robotic spacecraft on the moon since 1968, NASA is currently paying private companies to construct lunar landers through its commercial lunar payload service CLPS program. Intuitive Machines IM-1 lander, commonly known as Odysseus or Audi, soft landed on the moon in February, becoming the first U.S.-made spacecraft to do so in more than five decades. However, a different NASA-funded lunar lander, Peregrine, manufactured by Astrobotic Technologies, failed mere hours after taking off on its first mission in January owing to fuel leak. And this is by Great Game India. Please leave your comments and have, um, thank you for your support. My Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.